The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Hey, what is up, YouTube fam? It's Dupree, aka Darth Hater here, and this is my review, first reactions for Star Wars Vision that just premiered. Also, before we get into this, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because that greatly helps out the channel. I stayed up to 12 a.m. to binge all of this, kind of fell asleep <laughs> once or twice during like the third episode, I believe, but you know, it's been a long day. I wanted to get my first initial reactions for this show. I have been super hyped for this show more than I feel like a, a lot of people have been since day one, since the Disney investors meeting when Kathleen Kennedy first announced this show amongst many others. And my first thought was like Star Wars and anime, like my two favorite things together. Like, what could be better? Japanese samurai movies were the thing that first influenced George Lucas back in the day when he was first writing Star Wars, when he first was thinking about the hero's journey, Akira Kurosawa movies. So, like, the first trailers and the second, and then all the trailers came out for this, and it just made me super hyped. But I was overly surprised with what um, these different anime houses did. I love old school Japanese movies, samurai flicks, you know, older anime, like I, hell, like, um, random fact about me, I lived in Japan for two years and I was obsessed with anime. By far the first episode, uh, The Duel was my absolute favorite. That one just took you in from the aesthetic of it being very grainy and then filmed in black and white just the animation style like i fell in love with that this was like like my just up my alley i'm gonna do like you know episode breakdowns for each and every one of these so um nine different episode breakdowns along the way so i won't get in too much detail about this episode and what happened but all i'll say is just the whole feel of it meshed very very well star wars aesthetic with 17th century Japanese like flavor with the Ronin you know the lone samurai I love that like you know they put so much different Easter eggs and flavor uh, like one such is in the background in one of the buildings you can see the original 1977 Star Wars uh, poster you have a Transocean or maybe it was Bosque Going in um, another droid who I believe was um, a Death Star droid. I'd probably say my next favorite episode, The Elder. Um, with the two Jedi, the Master and the Padawan, sensing something on a planet, something ancient and evil, which turns out to be this um, Elder. That one just took me by surprise. I mean, I already knew it was going to be great, but I was not expecting the lore, the in-depth knowledge and wisdom that the master was giving to, you know, his apprentice. And, and then just the whole meet up with the elder and all that, like I said, I'm not gonna spoil it. The master's message of, you know, all those who want power don't realize like power is only, power only lasts for so long. It's, it's so hard to talk about this episode without like giving things away. My other favorite uh, one I really, really liked was, um, uh, what was the name of it? The the twins. The twins episode. That episode, I don't know what it was about it, but that took me back to original old school Star Wars. I felt like I was watching a new hope in a sense. It just had that feel. I don't I can't put my finger on it. This is the first viewing for all of these, so I need to watch them all again. And there's also Japanese subtitles, so I will specifically for the duel and the elder, I am going to rewatch those in Japanese subtitles. Another episode I really, really like, and I feel a lot of people are gonna like, is the Tatooine Rhapsody. That one took me by surprise. In the trailer, we had saw like, you know, bits and pieces of like Boba Fett, you know, doing his thing. So I was thinking the Boba Fett episode is gonna be his own thing. But no, he's just in this with Jabba the Hutt and Big Fortuna and a couple of the uh, Jabba's dancers production team saying like that one or two of these episodes should be canon. I feel like that one is and could be canon, has canon characters, 
Then it can place you're on Tatooine. You're in, you know, um, Mos Espa at the, um, where they had the Boonta Eve classic. And from what I'm finding out, the voice is like George, Justin Gordon Levitt, like doing the main, the main, um, kid who's a Padawan. It kind of showed what Jedi or after, you know, Order 66 did. Like some had to get normal jobs. And in this kid's case, he's like, you know what? I'm going to be a rock star. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go into uh, doing a band. You know, I'm not going to use my lightsaber for fighting or my lightsaber is going to, I'm going to turn it into a microphone. Like, I thought that was so cool. These episodes have only been out for like a little bit and I'm already hearing like that one was like a lot of people's like least favorite. I'm like, no, I actually really, really like that. I actually really, really like that. It had a certain vibe. And come on, you get Boba Fett there, like bobbing his head, like sipping on some Boba, <laughs> which was great. Jabba the Hutt, like, you know, bobbing his tail. It was a great episode. And those were my absolute favorite episodes. Uh, after that, I'd probably say um, T.O.B. one was another favorite of mine. I really like that one. I don't know about you guys, but I got some serious Astro Boy vibes with this one just from the anime style and how the kid looked and, and his master with no arms. It looked, it is very, very Astro Boy. If you guys can remember that old school anime, and it's just funny because that kid was basically all of us. He was like a dreamer. He dreamed about being a Jedi. He dreamed about being in quote unquote real Star Wars, fighting real Star Wars battles flying an x-wing you know swinging a lightsaber like fighting evil that was this kid this that was us little kids come on we all had like those like plastic or cheap lightsabers as kids and pretended just like that kid the other one i, I really liked or really really like was the ninth jedi that one took me for surprise i did not know what to expect going on for that one I remember in the trailer, you see a kid on a speeder bike with like a weird, clear looking lightsaber. And I didn't know what that meant. I'm like, are they introducing a new lightsaber color? Is it broken? Like, what, what's up with this saber? And it turns out, I'm not going to spoil the whole episode, but this is what I found really intriguing about it. And then there's a payoff. The fact that there is a lightsaber smith who made these lightsabers for some Jedi but the twist is these lightsabers read the lightsabers and the crystals read the force user users power strength and where they are in the force like you're a beginner like this girl uh, you know you haven't really unlocked your potential your power then it's going to be clear it's going to be just a clear blade and then that's it and it can be long or short whatever and then when other people get the lightsabers it's either going to be blue green you know, depending on, and then some people even get red. It's like, oh crap, what, what this guy got red, so that means he's evil. There's a, a twist at the end, which I was not suspecting at all, and uh, it kind of really threw me for a loop. Um, that, that's all I'll say. I'm not gonna go too deep into it because I'm going to do breakdowns for each and every one of these. They're only like 20 minutes. Some are like 17 minutes and max or like one is like 22 minutes long. So it's, you know, not going to be really that long. Another episode, episode four was the one I, I kind of started like falling asleep. It's kind of a slow start. Nice little payoff at the end. All I can say is there, there is a girl with some magic high heels and a cool looking saber. That is all I will say um, when things get going. And there's one part introduced a new YT freighter. And at first I thought it was the Millennium Falcon or the Outrider from Shadows of the Empire. But then it's just another YT model. You know, they're ex expanding the universe. I have to go back and rewatch this episode. I am going to go back and rewatch this episode. I'm rewatching all these episodes, but this one specifically because I fell asleep during it and woke back up. It was kind of like groggy as I was watching it. So I didn't really get in depth and I feel like I did not really appreciate this episode for what it was. But, you know, first watching and it's really late. So same thing with um, um, the last two episodes. Um, I didn't really get into it too much. I, I thought they were OK and the animation style was weird. Um, Lop and Ocho, that one was interesting and then they introduced the main character as like the bunny and i don't know if you guys know expanding universe character Jax. Jax was an alien bunny guy and i know a lot of people don't really like him for 
you know, it, it, it's kind of very furry. Like it, it's, it looks like Roger Rabbit, but this girl is kind of a serious character. It was okay. It was really okay. Um, like I said, I probably had to go back and rewatch it, give that episode a chance. The next one was Akakiri. Um, that one was interesting. I don't know if the animation style for that one was really, really interesting. For some strange reason, the main character in that kind of remind me of Doug. Well, not Doug, you know, like literally like that character Doug from that show Doug. It, like the animation style kind of reminded me, like say somebody like Patty Manny's from Doug. I, I don't know why, um, you know, it just did. I really love this show and I kind of surprised that they dropped all nine episodes um, tonight, I thought it was gonna be like you, you get we got one episode next week another episode another episode I thought we we're gonna go like that in line, but they didn't and apparently they let um, People know um, Or it was sent on StarWars.com like a day or so ago that there that's what they were gonna do um, It you know, these aren't really long episodes So it's very easy to binge them all in one sitting which I basically did and you could redo it again you know, without feeling like, oh, well, you know, that took forever. Another thing I'll say is this is fresh Star Wars content with no new classic characters. Aside from that one episode, Boba Fett and Jabba, this was all fresh characters. And I'm a Skywalker guy. Like, I was hoping, like, you know, we get some main character. We might get, like, some mention of Luke, you know, Leia, Vader, you know, somebody, Han, Solo, Chewie, whatever. There were none of those characters, and I was completely fine with that. Like these, these shorts were, were um, they only had like say 15, 17 minutes to get you hooked with these new characters, and then that was it. And they did a successful job in doing that. I'm hoping we get a season two. I think we will get a season two, especially for the fact that a lot of these episodes were left open ended. Like specifically the, the ninth Jedi episode was left really open ended. T.O.B. one was left really open ended. So, you know, they could do or continue those in like, um, I guess, season two. I'm betting what they're going to do is they're probably going to have a continuation with a few of these stories for season two. If and when they do that, and then the rest were going to be like fresh new stories. So that's what I'm hoping and what I'm predicting they're going to do. Like I said, this was a really, really nice and quick watch. It kind of reminded me of um, Love, Death, and Robots, if you guys know that Netflix series. But anyway, guys, um, this has been my short, quick review and reaction. I will rewatch this show, and then I'll have some breakdowns for you guys in the next couple days, over the next few days, trickling out. Let me know what you guys think. Like, did you watch it? Did you, you know, did you like it? Um, are you an anime head like I am? Like, which one was your favorite? Which animes would you compare, like, a lot of these to? Um, like I said, the T.O.B. one, one really had strong, strong Astro Boy vibes. And the duel, uh, I kind of felt like, and it really reminded me of uh, Afro Samurai. If you guys can remember that, it was a anime that came out, um, a good number of years ago and the main character is voiced by uh, Samuel Jackson was a black samurai with afro <laughs> voiced by Samuel Jackson that has strong afro samurai vibes yeah let me know what you guys think let me know which one was your favorite let me know what you expect going forward if they're gonna do a season two or what you would hope they would do uh, if you like this video please hit that like button if you're not already subscribed to the channel please hit that subscribe button and also guys don't forget to hit the bell to get the latest notification for all my latest videos. Thanks for watching us. Take care. May the force be with you. Bye.